Well, Katie, good evening. What I want to let everyone at home know is that these shootings are not random acts of violence. Rather, police say these are targeted acts of criminals against other criminals. And today we learned exactly what Buffalo police are doing to stop this. It's become a familiar scene, red and blue flashing lights, homicide detectives searching for clues, and what could be a growing gang problem in Buffalo. This crime scene, the latest in the city, a man in his 20s gunned down and killed Sunday night. Monday morning, Mayor Byron Brown calling for help. We need the cooperation of the public. We need people to come forward and provide information. We need them to share the information that they have with police and law enforcement authorities. As the police force waits for the tips to pour in, it has has increased its patrols on the streets. Brown says the spike in violence is due to people who are criminally involved going after others who are criminally involved. There are people who are suspects uh, in shootings, suspects in homicides, who have actually become homicide victims themselves. The Buffalo Police Department has a homicide squad, a strike force, and a number of other units that focus on this kind of crime. Brown says he's confident there will be arrests coming soon. Now, I did speak with U.S. Attorney William Hochul earlier today. He tells me he's not prepared to call this rash of crimes gang-related, but we are learning that police do plan and hope to make arrests sometime soon. We'll hear more tonight at 6 o'clock from a police chief who responded last night to Peach Street, why he thinks this is exactly gang-related. Plus, are you safe on the streets of Buffalo? All those answers coming up tonight at 6. For now, we're Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.